Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong, and today I'm going to teach you how to use hair light in portraiture using two strobes, one on the hair and one on the face. And it's a very, very simple setup. I'm using, obviously, off-camera flash, which you can see in my channels right above me, how to set up wireless flash for your different types of cameras and um, or how to use radio uh, strobes. Today what I've done is I've actually got radio strobes and I'm using the Fotix uh, radio. And um, right up here there is a link to another video which will teach you about the differences in radio flash. But I don't want to dwell on that too long because I want to go through the basics of how to get a spectacular portrait pretty much anywhere. And this is kind of a continuation of something I call the Ugly Room series where I take a really god-awful place to do portraiture and I um, turn it into a very nice portrait studio. The way that's done is by understanding that there's two types of light that's going to hit this camera. One is the light from the flashes and one that is the light from the ambient. And the ambient is something that I can turn darker by simply increasing the shutter speed by shooting on manual and in, uh, closing down the aperture so that we have everything dark. When that is all completely dark, then I turn the flash on so that these become my sole point sources of flash. That enables me to um, give you that really, really good look. So it doesn't matter what it looks like around you. And that's basically how that's done. So what I've done in this shoot is because it was so bright, I've taken the camera to ISO 100 and I've taken the shutter speed all the way up to 1 8,000th of a second. And that's using a technique called high speed sync. High speed sync is uh, covered in this link above. Uh, there's a complete channel on how to do high speed sync on your different types of cameras, Canon, Nikon, Sony, Pentax, or Olympus. And um, so I've got it at one, one ISO 100, which of course will make the room dark. I have it on ISO 8000, or I'm one eight thousandth of a second, which would make the room dark. TTL only really listens to what the aperture's at. So if this is f1.4, then these guys will deliver f1.4 regardless of shutter speed. If I put it on f5.6, these guys will deliver f5.6 worth of uh, strobe. The nice thing about having it so close is that I can use high speed shutter without having to drain the batteries or use a lot of power, heat up the heads and things like that. Now, the reason why I have two of the different uh, Gary Farm products, one is this of course is a very soft and flattering light for the face and this will be the key light for my model. I literally set it on a tripod. This one right here is a hair light and it's a spotlight, very, very bright, goes right on the hair. Now you might ask, well, why do I need to put a snoot on the um, hair light? The reason that is is because when you're doing hair light, the light is going to be behind your subject pointing toward your lens. And if you don't have it in a very, very tight beam, what will happen is it will cause flare to get onto your lens and it will basically make the entire background look very, very blasted or blown out. Okay, so let me show you the um, situation here at uh, Sammy's so you can see that, uh, you know, kind of behind the sales counter here. And I have my model standing right next to the sales counter. And this is the available light photo with no flash. This is just basically program light available. And this is what basically it looked like to the naked eye without the flash. So then what I did was I turned the camera off of program mode, put it on manual mode, increased the shutter speed to 1 8,000th of a second, and then started playing with my apertures at ISO 100. What you'll start to find is the very first shot that I do, you'll see that you don't see much of the surrounding room, which is great because it's a cluttered camera room, uh, I mean a camera store, we want to make that all invisible, and then I've cut that out. Now that I've cut that out, I can use the placement of my really cool diffuser products to create the key light for the face and the uh, hair light for the model, and I think it's a really spectacular result.